is gone because I know, I know, I know who holds my future and life is worth a living just because he lives. Amen, Brother Todd. Our scripture reading this morning is going to come out of John, verse 12, verses 23 to 26. Amen. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. May God have a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Amen. Amen. on you brother Ty for another song can you hear us yes I hear you now I thought it was prayer so what I will sing <laughs> Calvary 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 Calvary, Lord, Calvary, it was out on Calvary, surely he died, way out on Calvary, don't you hear the hammering and don't you hear, Lord, the hammering and don't you hear the ha hammering and surely he died way out on Calvary. God bless you. We'll have a word of prayer this morning. Brother Carter, you have a problem with your mic. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, all right, thank you, thank you. Shall we bow for, for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, Lord. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. 
Thanking you for, for what you've already done for us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you that you've been you've taken us out of seen and unseen danger, Lord. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. You've been with us all week, from one from the first part of the week to the last, Lord. We want to say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you would that you would just anoint our pastor, Lord, and, and bless him and keep blessing him. Anoint his head with oil, Lord. Keep his household safe, Lord. Keep his wife safe, Lord. Lord, I ask you this, Lord. Your kind father, I ask you this. Lord, I ask you that you would keep each and every minister of Bethesda, Lord. Keep them safe, Lord. Keep them out of seen and unseen danger, Lord. Lord, bless them and bless their household, Lord. Bless their children, Lord. Lord, I ask you to bless the deacons of this church, Lord. I bless, ask to bless the children you keep them out of seen and unseen danger, Lord. Keep bless their household, bless their wives and their children, Lord. I ask you this, kind of Father. I ask you this, Lord. Lord, I ask you to ask if every member here at Bethesda, Lord, I ask that you, Lord, that you bless them and keep them safe, Lord. Keep their yeah. children safe, Lord. Keep their household safe, Lord. Lord, I ask you, oh, kind Father, for all these things, Lord. Lord, I ask you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to ask you, Lord, to cast the devil out, Lord, through your power, to your anointing power, that you that you cast this devil out. Get rid of him, Lord. We ask that you do this, Lord, because you are the Lord of Lord, God of God, and the mightiness of a mighty Lord. We ask you this in your kind name, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you ask, we ask you this. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen? Amen. 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 That'll bring our devotion to a close. We turn the further services over to the pastor. Amen. Really inspired us through the devotion service. We ask you now that we set our mind on the word of God and the singing. And we're going to uh, ask Sister Mary Vardis to come and give us a song. And after which we're going to have prayer, altar call, and after altar call, we have another song, and then we'll be bringing the message to us. Amen. So we're going to say like Marvin Gaye, say, let's get it on. Amen. Let's get it on. Amen. Amen. Thank you, you Lord. Thank you. You Lord, thank you, you Lord, I just want to thank you, you Lord, let me say it again, yes, thank you, you Lord. Thank you. Amen. Now we time for our altar call. We bow our heads. Eternal God, our Father, Lord, we come in as humble as we know how, Lord. Lord, thanking you for this another opportunity to gather in thy name, Lord. Lord, we know it is you and only you, Lord, that have saved our souls from the gates of hell. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to gather again with technology, but gather in thy name, Lord. Lord, we ask you to come in right now, Lord, and touch each household that's represented here, Lord. Lord, touch those that could not get on and touch those that figured they did not want to, Lord. We ask you to come in and touch right now, Lord. Lord, we ask you first, Lord, to touch our first responders, Lord, that are out in this virus right now, Lord. We ask you to touch our police officers, touch our nurses, Lord. Lord, touch our leadership, Lord. Touch our mayor, touch our governor, Lord. Touch our president, Lord. Lord, we ask you to touch everyone right now, Lord. Lord, those that are in the sound of my voice and those that are covered in you today, Lord. Lord, we ask you to come in right now, Lord, and touch us all right now, Lord, and in the midst of going through, Lord, because we know you and only you can save our souls, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our pastor, Lord. We thank you for our first lady, Lord. We thank you for our ministers, Lord. We thank you for our deacons, Lord. We thank you for our mothers. We thank you for our ushers, Lord. We thank you for everyone that is gathered in thy name, Lord. 
Lord, we ask you to come in and touch them right now, Lord, and whatever they're in the need of, Lord, we ask you to touch right now. Lord, there are those that have to go out into this mean and evil world, Lord. We ask you to watch over them and cover them with your blood, Lord. Lord, we ask you to bless the man of God that's going to break the bread of life today, Lord. Lord, and lead us to you, Lord. We thank you for this Easter Sunday, Lord. We thank you for gathering thy name, Lord. But we're especially thankful for what you've done for us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this Passion Week, Lord. We thank you for the Good Friday, Lord. We thank you for this service. Lord, these are our prayers we ask in our darling son, Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases, people are slipping away. The economy's down, people can't get enough pay. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Folks without homes living all in the street, and the drug habits, some say. They just can't be mothers and robbers. No place seems to be safe. But you be my protection every step of the way. I got to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Hey, hey, hey. It would have been me. Thank you. Outdoors. With no food, thank you. No food. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. to be Amen. in the house of the Lord on this Resurrection Sunday. I want to thank you all for who are joining in with us on today. Amen. I just want to, just for a few moments, I know y'all got y'all Easter dinners cooking and got your ham in the oven. Amen. So I don't want to hold you long. Amen. But I do just want to bring a word of encouragement to us uh, on this Resurrection Sunday. First, let us bow. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, to hide me behind thy cross. Let it to be all of thee and none of me. I ask you, Father God, Lord, to allow these words, your words, strengthen us as believers, that we may continue to tell a dying world that we do serve a living Savior. But we ask, Father God, Lord, if for someone in the midst, Lord, who don't know you in the pardon of their sins, that we ask that the, heart, the Holy Spirit may prick their heart with the word, that they may come running asking, what must I do to be saved? And we be careful to point them to your darling son, Jesus, who died for our sins. But early on the third day morning, you got him out of the grave that we may be justified in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, just for a few moments, if you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask you to turn to a familiar passage of scripture found in uh, the gospel according to Luke uh, chapter 23, verses 18 through 21. That is uh, Luke <clears throat> chapter 23, 
uh, starting at verse number 18 and going through to the 21st verse. And I know I can't, uh, I know I'm used to being in the, in the house, amen, when I say just say amen when you got it, amen. But I'm going to go ahead and start reading it, but that's Luke chapter 23, uh, verse 18 through 21, and it reads as follows. And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas. For a certain sedition made in the city, and a murderer was cast into prison. Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again unto them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Just uh, for a few moments this morning, I want to encourage and challenge us from the thought, who will you choose? Who will you choose? As God's creation, we have been given the ability uh, to make our own choices. Yeah, we, we have, been, have been given a, a free will mind uh, to, to do as we like. Amen. Uh, uh, but we have to understand that uh, there are some times uh, we have to realize that with this gift, there is a curse. Paul said on one occasion, when I choose to do good, evil is always present. You see, church, there, there is an opportunity to stray away from what is right. There is always a chance, amen, that, that I may uh, be persuaded to appeal to the flesh and not the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see, the choices I make, I have to understand, they not only affect me, but they also affect my family and all of those around me. So that's why it's important for us to make the right choice. Yeah, the, the, the world, the world will try to convince us, amen, that we we should do whatever we feel. Yeah, the world, the world, the world, the world will will persuade us, amen, that that we should do what pleases us, regardless of the consequences. The world, church, will, will try to, amen, convince us that we, we ain't hurting nobody, amen? And if folks don't like what we're doing, it's their problem and not ours. But God said, love not the word, neither the things that are in the word. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So I ask you this morning, who will you choose? Yeah, in, 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 in the pretext, amen, Calvary has began to come into view. Jesus had on, on many occasions spoke about this moment uh, to his disciples in order to get them prepared for what was about to take place. Yeah, he, he had told them how, amen, he would be betrayed by one that was in his circle. He had, a man told them how he would be turned over uh, to the hands of sinful, sinful men. Amen. He, he had pulled Peter aside and, and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation and, and told him that when things get tight, amen, you're going to deny me three times. Yeah, he, he told them, amen, that he, that he had to go away. Yeah, but he would not leave them comfortless and that the comforter, the Holy Spirit, would equip them to spread the good news of the gospel throughout the whole world. Yeah, he, he, gave, them, he gave them some insight, amen, into what was about to come so that nothing would take them by surprise. I, I, hope, I hope I want, I want to just encourage us, amen, this morning and tell us, Amen. That he is still speaking to us today. Yeah, even even in the midst of this pandemic, he assures us like he did Moses when he said, "Stand still and see the salvation 
of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, he, he's still, he's still reviving us just like he did Joshua when he said, be not afraid nor, nor dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever, wherever you go. Yeah, he, he's still, amen, showing his promises just like he did to the disciples when he said, amen, when they were in the storm on the sea of Galilee, we're going to the other side. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that's some hallelujah right there to know that he's still speaking to us. He's still encouraging us. Let me let me get back, amen. I don't want to get too happy, amen. But 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 we see Jesus. Yeah, this 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 Jesus the Christ being marched from judgment hall to judgment hall. And he was now, amen. He has found himself uh before Pilate. And and it is here, uh, church. Amen. That an examination of Jesus and the charges that have been brought up against him takes place. Can I can I tell you something else this morning? It's it's good. It's good. It's good in in, in times like these. Amen. To look at the proven charges we can bring up against Jesus. Oh, y'all didn't hear me this morning. I say it's good in times like these. Amen. To be able to look back at the proven charges we can bring up against Jesus. I, I don't know about you, amen, but, but I can charge him with being a way maker and a bridge over troubled waters. And can I tell you this morning, the charges are going to stick. Amen. I, I can charge him, amen, with being a healer in my time of sickness. And I promise you, church, the charges, they they going to stick. I can charge him with being a shelter in my time of storm. And the charges will, will stick. I don't know about you, amen, but, but I can charge him with being a marriage counselor, a, a mind regulator, and a heart fixer. He, hmm, the charges, the charges. Yeah, they 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 going they going to stick. Yeah, Pilate, Pilate, Pilate. After after his examination of Jesus, he, he saw that there was a lack of evidence. Yeah, yeah. So so he gave he gave the crowd a choice. Yeah, yeah. You can take Jesus or Barabbas. And and as the crowd began to to ponder, Amen. What 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 decision they were they were going to make according to the gospel, according to, 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 to Matthew and Mark, it says that the chief priests and the elders begin to walk through the crowd and start whispering and murmuring in the ears of the multitude. Amen. They wanted them to choose Barabbas. Uh, church, it's amazing, amen, how how peer pressure, yeah, 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 peer, peer pressure can can persuade our principles. It's, it's shocking, amen, how, how prayer pressure can lead to compromise when we are not steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the word of God. It's, it's, it's funny, it's funny to me, church, amen, how we can get tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine because of tricky me. Yeah, and, and truth be told, truth be told, truth be told, amen, there's no difference today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got folks. We got folks uh, trying uh, to persuade us, uh, church, that today is about bunny rabbits and jelly beans. Yeah, ain't ain't no ain't no difference today. We we got folks trying to convince us, amen, that that today is about new suits and fancy dresses. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no difference. There's no difference. We we got some folks, amen, that are trying to urge us. Uh, to believe that today is about multicolored, hard-boiled eggs and big Sunday dinners. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying to get us to choose Barabbas over, over Jesus. Yeah, the enemy, the enemy wants us to choose the world over the Savior. Yeah, but, but Jesus said on one occasion, seek ye first. Yeah, the kingdom of God and and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, yeah, I want to let you know we, we can't allow peer pressure uh, to alter our, our choice. Yeah, earlier, 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 there was a crowd that was shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the name 
of the Lord. And now this crowd is saying, away with this man. Give us Barabbas and crucify Jesus. I, I, I will stop by to ask you this morning, what, what choice will, will you make? Joshua told the nation of Israel, hey man, you got a choice to make. Yeah, but as for me and my house, we will serve, serve the Lord. I want to urge you this morning that you ought uh, to make Jesus your choice. Yeah, we have to understand that if we choose Jesus, we have someone who can prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Yeah, if, if, we, if we choose Jesus, we have someone that we can cast all of our, our cares on because he, he cares for us. If we choose Jesus, we have a burden bearer and a heavy load sharer. When I was burdened down and I couldn't go any further, I'm so glad that Jesus came along on a good Friday, took all of my burdens and your burdens out on a hill called Calvary. He was nailed to an old rugged cross. They hung him high and stretched him wide. He hung his head, and for me, he died. They say the earth began to reel and rock like a drunken man. Amen. Darkness fell over the land from the sixth to the ninth hour. I say Jesus could have came down, but he chose to stay on that cross for you and for me. He stayed out there till a Roman soldier looked up and said, surely this must be the Son of God. He died out on Calvary, laid him in a bar or tomb, stay there all that Friday, stay there all that Saturday. I heard an old preacher say, amen, when he died, oh, Satan called up the grave. He said, look here, I need you to make sure that you keep him safe and sound in the grave. Old grave said, look here, I don't know what you've been bothering me for. We got him, he dead, and he in the grave. That was on Friday. On Saturday morning, oh, devil got a little bit more antsy. He said, I got to call up death and make sure everything is still going according to plan. He called up death. He said, death, look here. I know you got a lot going on. It's a pandemic even right now. I know you got some folks you got to go get. But I just called to check on Jesus. He said, look here. I'm trying to tell you, don't call me no more. I got things to do. Jesus is dead. And in the grave, that was on Saturday. But early Sunday morning, that old devil remembered. He said, in three days, I will rebuild this temple. He called up death. He said, look here. I know this is uh, my last time calling you. You're busy. But I just called to check on Jesus. He said, look here. I got to call you back. I got grave on the other end. There's been some problems with this Jesus. Early Sunday morning. I said, early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hands, power to save, power to heal, power to deliver. I tell you, Resurrection Sunday was the day that changed everything. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? Who, who will you, will you choose? Amen. It is very easy and simple. You don't have to do nothing but accept Jesus, death, burial, and resurrection. This is what it's all about. The Bible says he was the first fruit, and after them, the church will follow. We ask you now, do you really know him? Have you made a choice? Sometimes we make a choice and say that we're going to be saved at 11 o'clock. But we died at 10.30. You ought to make a choice now. As I say years ago, while the blood is still running warm in your vein, this is a good chance to accept Jesus as your personal Savior. 
You may look back and say, I done did this and I done did that. It's just too late. But remember that day out on Calvary when he was hung between two thieves, one on the left and one on the right. One turned and say, while he was on his deathbed, say, Lord, remember me. And he said, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. The Bible tells us that we confess with our mouth, Lord Jesus, and believing in our heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. He said in the scripture, whosoever call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. Why he commended his love towards us while we was yet sinners. Christ died for the ungodly. You have a chance now to come. I wouldn't put it off to tomorrow. No, 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 I'll come right now. So much going around, going on around us. So much happening. And if you out there, just listen on, on YouTube, whatever. You can be saved today. And we're gonna bow our head and pray our sinner's prayer. Lord, forgive us. Come into our lives. Give them a chance, Lord. Say, let's Lord have mercy upon me, a poor sinner that need to be saved. And I know he'll come into your life. But Reverend, I, I don't feel like I'm saved. It ain't about your feeling. It's about what the word of God says. If thou confess with thy life, confess with thy mouth, Lord Jesus, and believe it in thy heart, thou shalt be saved. Won't you accept him now? Too much going on. You need a doctor. You need somebody. Get to look beyond your fault. You need somebody that can take you through what we're going through. Please, sir, I beg you, I urge you, and if you're just plain church, let's get right with God, because God can make everything all right. If you're not saved, I mean, you can be in the church, but remember, you must, must be born again. Give Jesus a chance. If you don't try Satan for 40 years, 50 years, Amen. Try Jesus for just three months. Just try him for three months. If you don't like him, Satan always will take you back. Give him a chance right now. Give him a chance. This is my prayer. That all Bethesda and all those that listen today will accept Jesus as their personal Savior. God bless you. God thank you. We thank, we thank the young man for the message. That was a beautiful message. We say to him, keep on preaching. And I know we can't hear you, but just say in your mind, just say to yourself, bless the preacher, bless the word of God in Jesus' name. Do that for me. I'll turn it back over. Mary was gonna give us a song, or whoever gonna give us a song, I'll turn it back over, and then it being back in the hand of the system to the pastor. I thank God for him and his wife, for all that they're doing for us, amen. Amen. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. None else could heal all our souls, be Jesus. No, not one. Like the lowly 
Amen. Church, say amen. 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 Each and every one of you, amen. Join us today on our Resurrection Sunday. Uh, we do want to let you know for those members and those who may be listening, um, tithes and offerings can be given um, in four different ways. Amen. Uh, Deacon Carter is uh, currently at the church, and he will be at the church uh, from 9 until 11 each Sunday morning. Uh, in the event that you would like to drop off your tithes and offerings, amen. If not, uh, we have uh, a P.O. box um, uh, that you can give to, or send it to, amen, and that's on our website. But there's the NBC P.O. box 241478, Detroit, Michigan, 48224. You can also give uh, your tithes and offerings through Giveify and Cash App, amen. We thank God for uh, his spirit in this place. Amen. I'm, I'm so glad my grandma used to say, amen, and made it clear to me that uh, the church house was just that. It was the house, amen, that the church goes to in order to fellowship with one another and give God glory and praise. And even though we're not able to um, be able to be in the church house, amen, we can still have church. And so I thank God, amen, on this Resurrection Sunday. This is a very... Uh, um, um, important occasion for us, amen, because had he not got up, amen, we would not have the right to the tree of life. And so I thank God, amen, uh, for all of our preachers who blessed us on Good Friday, amen, with the word, the seven last sayings from the cross, amen, that led up until today, amen, with our Resurrection Sunday. We thank God for you. We thank God for our pastor, amen, our first lady. Uh, we want to continue to pray for ourselves and it. one another. Amen. As we go through this, I, I'm, just, I'm just stupid enough to believe, amen, that just like God raised up Jesus from the dead on the third day, he can resurrect us, amen, through this pandemic. And so uh, all we have to do is just trust and believe, amen, in his word. We want to uh, encourage you, amen, as we are getting ready to uh, give our benediction, but we are going to allow people to kind of stay on uh, to fellowship with one another because it's customary when we get out of church. We just don't leave. Amen. We sit around and we talk and we fellowship with one another. So I know it's been a minute since some of us seen one another. Amen. I'm sporting a new haircut. Some of y'all done seen. I see you. Them by surprise. Amen. Y'all just didn't look at me and didn't hear the message. Amen. But uh, we want to fellowship with one another. So I, I give this benediction. Amen. Uh, stay on the line and, and conversate with uh, family and friends. Amen. Amen. Let us bow. Father God, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for Father God, for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. We thank you for all of those, Heavenly Father, who participated. We thank you for all those, Heavenly Father, who were present and in attendance on today, Lord. We ask you right now in the name of Jesus, keep our minds and our hearts, Heavenly Father, Lord, as we deal with what's going on. Lord, we know that you are a mind regulator and a heart fixer. So we ask you right now, Lord, keep us, Heavenly Father, Lord. Watch over us and protect us, Lord, from all hurt, harm, and danger. We thank you right now. We give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, y'all. Welcome to the club. Uh, hey. Amen. Hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Hey, 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 Love y'all. Love you Hey, 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 Hey,